Did you know Power Automate Get Items Action pulls only 100 records by default and even breaks beyond 5,000? Let's quickly fix it with best practices. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'll show you. What is the best way to work with the Get Items Action in a Power Automate flow? Or what are the issues with the Get Items Action? In this tutorial, I will walk you through it. Let's say, this is my document library where I got over 6,000 documents and I want to read these documents based on this item created channel, parameter filter query, right? So this is my sample manually triggered flow and here I have configured my site URL and this is my document library name. And this is the filter query. I have passed here item created channel equal to power automate. Now I should get, or generally I would expect all the documents from my document library. If this condition is satisfied in this document library, however, in reality, I will not get, I'll explain you the technical reason why. So let's run this flow and test this now. I'll just get only 100 documents though. I have over 6,000 documents with that criteria. Let's run this flow. Yes, it ran successfully and I will see the count here only 100. Whereas in my document library, I have over 6,000 documents. So this is the issue. This issue you will encounter while you have developed a flow. Where you have used the get items action and gone with the out of the box configuration and your SharePoint document library has over 5,000 documents and you haven't configured the other settings, which I'm going to show you here, then you're going to face this issue. So let's troubleshoot this issue and how I can get all the documents here now. I'll just add here top count as 5,000. As you know, SharePoint has a 5,000 threshold limit. So I have just added top count as 5,000. Now let's check this and run this flow. This time also, I will not get all the 6,000 plus documents because I have to configure some more things. See here, I got 4,998 files. This is also not expected. If I wanna get all the over 6,000 documents, how can I get using this get items action? So for that, what I need to do is I just need to go to the settings of this get items and I must enable this pagination. By default, this will be disabled. See this toggle. Here you can configure greater than zero and less than or equal to 100,000. You will get a configuration error message if you pass the wrong value. Let's go with a maximum upper limit of 100,000. That's it. This is the only configuration I need to do here. Then if I run this flow again, I will get all the 6,000 plus documents, whatever I have here in this document library, right? So let's run this flow. This is running now. This time it is taking a little bit more time than the previous execution because I have enabled the pagination and configured it. See, this time I got over 6,000 documents, which means whatever I have in my document library, I got all the documents here. Now I got the expected result. So if I have here more than 6,000 documents also, the get items will bring the data. Of course, in each execution, the upper limit will be 100,000. So while you are working with get items actions, you must enable the pagination, configure it, and then set the top count as 5,000. Otherwise, your flow you will fail or will not get the expected data in production environment. That may work in your development environment because in your development environment you may not have that much data. So without pagination, it may work here in the development environment. Likewise, when you saw your flow was working in the development environment without the pagination configuration and you went ahead and deployed it 
to your production environment. Then your flow stopped working because in your production environment, you have more data, which is as expected. So the best practice and recommendation is that while you're working with the get items action in your Power Automate flow, you must enable the pagination, configure it, and set the top count value as 5,000. Whether you have more than 5,000 documents in your SharePoint document library or not, you shouldn't bother with that. Then, your flow will continue to work without any issues in the production environment. That's all for today. In this video, I wanted to share these tricks, best practices, and recommendations with you. If you found this tips and tricks video useful, please subscribe, like, and share it. I'll keep bringing you more valuable insights on Power Platform, Power Automate, Copilot, and SharePoint. See you in next one. Thank you.